What's up everybody, Sambo here. Just a quick little video update. Going to be working on uh, this area right here, this open green space, which is right near the city. It's going to be a little government area. And yeah, you just have to wait till the end and you'll see what it really, how it fits in. It's really big. It's kind of a little bit over the top, but I hope you guys don't hate it too much. So first of all, we have to align the terrain because it was quite hilly in this area. Uh, and then that main road at the back there that got deleted as well, completely gone. And if you haven't noticed, it's it's kind of like a, a bit of a grid in the, the downtown area. I didn't really like that. So I wanted to use this roundabout. I'm just going to drag it over into position right here just to break up all of the grid likeness and just spread it out a bit more give it give it a, a bit of a nicer flow um and i think it actually looks good because i not in this video but in in the next video i might put something really grand in the middle but i haven't yet found something to fit in there so this is going to be the main road that the all of the government buildings are going to be on now there's going to be this one major large building which is kind of it's a little bit oh I don't know will you guys hate it will you guys like it I try to blend it in with, with all of the other larger buildings which which you'll see um so this is it here it's it is a Soviet style building it's really over the top it's like oh my god it's when you have it like that it's like oh my god it's so big it looks so out of place but I start to put these larger buildings around it and even though it's probably five different buildings I, I try to connect it all up together to make it look like it's all just one long connected building and then all of these new buildings have been added on slowly, 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 and then it's all connected, you know what I mean? The whole thing, it's not in line with that roundabout and I know that's going to bug some people, but for me, I quite like the odd shape of it. So I downloaded a whole lot of these other Russian style buildings, but they didn't really look good because like, I don't think the the detailing on them wasn't very good. So unfortunately I couldn't use those because I was like, oh my God, these would fit so good, but they don't. So anyway, <laughs> you have to use just random buildings that I found um, that I already have and um, found on the workshop. But anyway, this here, this is not the Berlin wall entrance. At the end of the video, I do go through what some of these are. Um, I put in a little pedestrian bridge right there, just again to make it look a little bit more connected, even though there's no doors there. And um, then this back road here, this was actually a road originally going through here. So I thought we have to continue it on, especially since I removed one of the other roads that was there that kind of connected up to that right hand corner right there so I did have to continue this on because we have this main road right there already and I also wanted more access for this whole government area so I didn't want the whole access point to be just at the front of the whole thing I wanted it to be at the back as well um, just so there's lots of different little options and actually it looks quite good because at the back of this whole area I put the older style government Russian building and then the front of it is the more modern grand like hey look at me area um, the back here yeah, it just kind of gets surrounded by a lot of larger buildings and at the end of the video I add in a lot of big buildings just to kind of show you guys how it's going to all look um, because when you look at it like this, it's a little bit over the top, right? Because it's like all of these huge buildings, that one big crazy white building there and it looks a little bit odd so I thought it's really necessary to put in those extra buildings. So you guys, I'm not really into doing speed builds as much anymore. I used to be really into it, but I don't know. I watch other people's speed builds and they don't even talk through it. And it's like, mm, I can't even watch two minutes of it. So I'm like, should I force you guys to even watch that? So I don't really like to go through every tiny little plant and detail and things like that. So we're just going to skip to the end and um, have a look at everything, have a little discussion and go from there. So let's go have a look. Alrighty, everybody, it is probably 95% done. There's still some smaller things that need to be adjusted. Uh, we need to put something in the big roundabout right in front of us. And um, depending on what the, the surrounding area will look like, will determine what these other little areas will have inside them. So um, there's some little empty parts in the area, some green space. I don't know if I want to fill those in yet or just leave it. We'll see how it goes in terms of, like I said, these surrounding areas, but here it is. So I added in just a few other buildings around it, just so we can get a little bit of an idea of what the surroundings going to look like. And when I first finished building this area, it, it looked a little bit weird because it's like all these huge buildings, this huge big 
structure and then there was just nothing around it so I thought I needed to put something in. So let's just go out and just zoom out now bear with me keeping in mind it's not fully done just yet but there we go there. So what I was talking about is we have this space here to put something in we also have these spaces here these ones here and some spaces in here. Now if I end up doing lots of green space out here then maybe we can detail this more or if this area is really compact then I'll leave this open because it we just have to balance it out and see which one needs it more than the other. So I've got it on pause because it's it's still really laggy like I don't know what's going on there must be something since the the new campus DLC it made it really laggy but anyway let's go into the first little area right here now I wanted it to have lots of open space like I said because that's just the vibe that I want so if they want to have um, some kind of festival thing here or they want to have I don't know something where they have a big crowd of people they have the space to do that they have some little seating areas cafe some food trucks and I tried to implement the older style building so these ones here they go all the way around oh we're missing a bit but it goes all the way around now you might have noticed these ones are already throughout the whole map so I had to go through the map and find them copy and paste them because you can only place them once but if you copy it then you can place them again more um, I tried to put the wall kind of all the way around so it's kind of like it's a bit more secluded not not entirely but maybe it was in the olden days so it's like it goes there across here along there connects up to this building goes along there then you got the old ones that are kind of disappearing through here oh yeah and then also I have the older ones right here actually let's go into first person mode let's go in oh, there we go just go through that building whoopsie daisy so we've got some green space there I need to fill in but we'll come down here there we go so this is like the old building here the little old building um, and then we got these huge big buildings here but anyway that's the old one just for a bit of a, a bit of a mixture I just filled in this space here with grass um, when you zoom out so if I just zoom out and look back it kind of glitches a little bit it goes into a bit of a weird yeah see right there so if you if you see that don't worry about that anyway let's go back over to in here let's go in there we go now we have we have this huge building I know this looks so overkill but with all the other buildings around it it doesn't actually look too bad um, we got this other huge building here as well which is kind of connected to it I tried to make it look like it's all connected you guys uh, we have this bit here which goes through there's no parking lots or anything like that I thought we can just pretend that it's underground parking um, yeah so that's that big building but let's go out through to the front there we go du -du -du. There we go, so I put some little posts there, I need to ban cars actually going through there. And there we go, so this is like the main big part, and it's like really big and grand, it's got the Russian le uh, alphabet right there, really, it looks, oh, it's like there's a lot going on, it's really, a lot of really big buildings, you have this big thing here which is really like grand as well. Um, lots of green space, a little bit of a weird angle there which I didn't notice before, but well, small thing, we come out here. And then we have the little catfish cafe. Um, go back around here. That big building in the background is also part of it. And then there we go. Look at that. Wow. Looks, I like it. It's pretty like in your face, but I don't mind about that. Come around here. We've got a nice big monument thingy here. I don't know what that is. I can't remember. They come around here. You've got the fences. You got the other larger buildings playing up there. So yeah, it looks, it looks good. Even though when you zoom out, like it does look a little bit empty if I just get the right angle there we go if I zoom out it looks a little bit empty right but I mean once you're down there you don't really notice it, it all kind of fits in so I think it's fine there we go we're down on the street um, I didn't put a pedestrian bridge because it just didn't work it like I thought about it I tried to put some in but it just didn't work because we don't really have the space over here to do it because of the the wall here I could have maybe maybe put one in there but we it's it's traffic lights anyway so yeah also while we're here while I am thinking about it we need to ban pedestrians walking along here just like so so you do that on all of them I just don't want them to walk on the roundabout they can walk elsewhere there's not much traffic here anyway so like we don't really <laughs> need to worry about it too much also, this is not the one from Berlin. I know it looks similar, but it's called the the main entrance to the Gorky Park. So it's not the Berlin one, but I know it kind of looks similar. So I'm just clearing that up for you guys. 
I also just filled in this area just quickly some office buildings. Um, this building is the Neues Deutschland. What is it? I don't know if it's a bank or something, but that's the same one over there. We just need to fill in this area. I'm not sure if I want to put buildings here or if I want to do some more grass areas like I did here. See the grass stuff, which looks pretty good, I think. Um, some larger buildings. Yeah, I, I threw in a lot of larger buildings, like I said at the start of the video, just to um, fill it in a bit more. We have this one from New York. And I think a lot of them are the quad, if you go into the Steam Workshop and you type in QUAD, you'll find a lot of these more futuristic looking buildings like these ones. Um, yeah, so go check that out if you want. You guys see how laggy it is? Like, what is going on here? I don't, I don't know why, I don't know how it's so laggy. So let's pause it again. Um, I think we need to liven it up a bit, don't you think? So we need the people generator. So you can get that from the workshop. Just place them down, da, 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 da. place them down. People will start to come along. Um, don't do it if your city is pretty laggy. I probably shouldn't do it actually, but oh well, just place them down anyway. <laughs> anyway guys, just before I go, I, I'll just clear up what some of these buildings and roads are. So this is called the Soviet City Hall. Um, this one is the Neues Deutschland News Office. These ones are the Kremlin Tower. So yeah, I, I actually typed them into the Steam Workshop before I couldn't find them. Um, this is, like I said, the Gorky Park, and then this road here, this is actually four lanes, and it just doesn't have the marking on it. It is the Paris 1900 Avenue. It also has a smaller option as well, which is this one right here. So yeah, that's basically all for me in this episode. Now, what do you guys want me to work on next? Should I just fill in these surrounding areas here? I feel like it's, it's so close to being done. I could probably finish these areas up in one episode, and then we can just move on. We still have these areas here. Um, this area Area along here and then we have all of this space to fill in probably mostly going to be houses just low density housings housing and then also some suburbia over here as well and then I think we're basically it oh this part here okay so there's still a little bit to do but we're getting there so let me know what you would like to see next in Sammy Vostok and I shall get to it so thank you guys for watching and I um, hope you guys like this new government area I know it's a little bit over the top but yeah I like it. I think it fits in. Anyway, bye guys.